This is an Evergreen Media Network studio production. From Studio A in sunny Florida, welcome to Beauty and the Beach Radio, where it's all about who's beautifying Vero Beach. Today's show is brought to you by Dale Sorensen Real Estate. And here's your host and glamour girl, makeup artist, Cindy Getz. Hey guys, welcome back to Beauty and Beach Radio. We hope you had a great We hope you had a beautiful week. Um, We are talking about something today that I think will interest all of you. Okay, so we're going to talk about something that everybody loves. Okay, we're also going to talk about something that everybody hates. Okay, we're going to talk about something that everybody uses. Okay, and everyone discards. Now, Cindy, I know that you already know because you typed the topic, but <laughs> is there are there any other descriptives you can think of to kind of tease the audience what we're talking about today? Oh, wow. I know, it's, right? It's worldwide. Because I'm not, it's worldwide. It's Good worldwide. one. Good one. I'm hoping, I don't, I'm hoping it's not on the moon yet. Worldwide. Okay. Oh, that's good too. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? All right. It's what crazy. else you got? Come on, uh, one more. Let me see. Ginormous. Ginormous. Okay. It's ginormous. It could be pretty. It could be ugly. It can be pretty and ugly. It can be. It's totally serviceable. Yes. Totally yes. Very practicable. Practical. Pract- pract- I just made up a word. Good. Good practicable. Word. Yeah. Good. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. All right. All enough of those. And all of those. So, yeah. have you figured it out? Do you know the topic? Do you know what we're talking about? All right, are you ready, guys? We're talking about... Where's that? Too late. (laughs) Drum roll! We're talking about plastic. Yes. Yes. We're talking about plastic. Okay, we're going to talk about the problems, and we're also going to talk about the solutions. So, guys, I'm going to take you back a little bit. Do you know when plastic was invented? Do you know that, Cindy? I want to, I'm going to say World War II, but I don't know. Ooh, that's good. That's good. But actually, a little bit sooner. So, Belgian chemist Leo Bakelin started the first synthetic plastic in 1907. Oh. 1907, okay? Mm. His invention, which he called, are you ready? Bakelite. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, his last name is is actually spelled B-A-C-K-E-L-A-N-D, but it's pronounced Bakeland. So his his first uh, invention, he called Bakelite, combined two chemicals, formaldehyde and Ooh. phenol, under heat and pressure. Wow. How I about that? that? Isn't that know. cool? Yeah. So Leo started uh, our first, what we know of as plastic. Now, fast forward, and this is where you come in, Cindy, with your World War II. Plastic began to be mass produced yeah, okay. yep, after the Second mm-hmm. World War. So you're looking at after 1945. Okay. And then again, during the 1960s and 70s, when consumers wanted plastics to replace traditional materials because they are cheap, versatile, sanitary, and easy to manufacture into a variety of forms. So it's really done a great purpose, right? Totally. And plus, it's it moves around easy. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So what did we use before plastic? What did we use before plastic, Cindy? Well, we had like the picnic baskets with the real silverware, the real cups, real saucers, stuff like that. I, I'm going to say metal, all kinds of stuff. Glass. Exactly. Glass. Thank you. So before the invention of plastic, the only substances that could be molded right okay. into bottles or holders or whatever uh, were clay like pottery and glass okay okay uh, which are natural products well when did plastic become bad which is kind of what we're leading up to today plastics devastating effect on marine mammals was first observed in Cindy this is hard to believe in the late 1970s so it was invented in the early 1900s and and you know almost 70 years later we're now going uh oh we have a problem well the bake light was famous for being jewelry and things like that too mm. it wasn't the everyday serviceable stuff until world war ii i think for like the gis and yes. the k rations and all that was when it was manufactured so when I think. Yeah. yeah so when scientists from the national yeah. marine mammal laboratory conc- uh, concluded that plastic entanglement okay, okay. was killing up to 40 This is an unreal 40,000 seals a year. That's crazy. So annually, this amounted to a four to six percent drop in seal population beginning in uh, 19 uh, early uh, 1976. Unreal. So 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 can we live without plastic? That's that's a big question. Can we live without plastic? 
So plastics so. impact the life of every person every day and everywhere, kind of how we started this, Cindy. Mm -hmm. Without plastics, food waste would uh, increase. Without plastics, fuel costs would increase due to the heavy, uh, heaviest, heavier excuse me, vehicles. And without plastics, medical yeah. care would be very difficult, if not impossible. Right. So we've really become reliant on this product, mm -hmm. okay? So how do we reduce waste? Uh, okay, so one simple way, all right, <laughs> and I did not know, this was not a setup. Mm -mm. One simple way is say goodbye to your bottled water. Yeah. Mm, yes. Yeah. So yeah. try a reusable bottle, mm -hmm. okay? You can save, are you ready, 1,460 bottles when you switch to a reusable water container. Yes. And I've started doing that. Yeah, I'm with you. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to. You're, I know you are. I know you are. Well, our guest today, so how does she tie into all of this? She is uh, here. She lives here in Vera Beach. She is a local artist. Her work is amazing. Um, she does oil. Um, she does actually mixed medium. I, I watched a video of her work. And it's these life-size, you know, faces, and she's got all kinds of different mixed medium. It's a little contemporary. It's very cool, you guys. You do need to check it out. Um, but welcome to Beauty and the Beach Radio for the first time. Drum roll, Joanne Mettler. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm Absolutely. so honored to be here. Thank you. And I'm honored to have you here because I you. watched your, uh, there's a video out there of your work, and I believe you might be at your home studio. I was. And uh -huh. beautiful, incredible, life size. Cindy, they're the, the pieces are taller than Joanne. Like, really? Oh my gosh, they're amazing. They climbed okay. ladders. It was. Oh, I, I, I was curious about that. So much fun. Yeah. yeah. So much. So fun. your work is very fun, very colorful. Mm -hmm. I just loved it. Thank you, you are incredible. Thank you. So okay, here we are. You you create beauty, right? Mm -hmm. You create I do, beauty. I guess. But yes. now you're looking at creating a different kind of beauty. So I'm gonna ask you, what started you on this mission? bringing plastics into the conversation, okay? Do we love it? Do we hate it? You know, what can we do about our situation here? So here you are an artist, you love beauty, you're creating a different kind of beauty. Talk to me about this new mission you're on. Okay, so I my mission is this island. I, I needed to have an area that I could maybe make a change. And so I walk the beach a lot, I love the beach. It um, fulfills me. It, it gives me an opportunity to be creative. And I've been picking up plastic along with my neighbors for years. And I just thought to myself, you know, I just, it just keeps coming in. And, mm. and where can I stop this perhaps on this island? Sure. So I thought, well, let me, let me start with the businesses and let me, let me start see if I can change their minds about sending out plastic with takeout containers and plastic containers, styrofoam particularly, um, which will be here some 5,000 probably forever. Ugh. So I didn't want to just continue picking up plastic. I needed to let everybody know that, you know, what we were doing was uh, disastrous. It was going to pile up and it is piling up and I envisioned as an artist that this world was going to be covered with plastic pieces. We're going to be one giant plastic bin. A big yeah. earth covered in mm -hmm. plastic pieces. So I decided I'd just march into those places and say tell people what I thought and realized quickly that I needed a logo. Okay. So being an artist, I thought, well, who better could do it? I can do it, so that's my logo. So let's look at the logo and share with people what this is. I love it, I love the color, I love everything, but what is, tell us about this, because the people that are on radio can't see what we're talking about. So describe it. Okay, mm -hmm. so it looks like a comic book piece. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and that was the intent. Okay. It's, it's an explosion. Yep. And um, the letters of uh, POW, I've, I've exaggerated the O-O-O -O -O in the middle, and it stands for Plastics Out of Our World. 
Now, I'm an optimist, obviously. Yes. Um, and, you know, I think that's probably not quite uh, achievable. But in my lifetime, I thought this could be a very important step. It would be my legacy to this world, to this island, to all of you. Um, it's going to do more good for you than it is for me because you will be here to um, to see the damage that's coming. And so that's that's what I'm doing. I absolutely love that. Plastics out of our world. So I love how you just really went way out there, you know, and that's what catches people's attention, right? I think so. And, and we have grown so accustomed to plastics, but with the awareness that you're bringing to our island, you know, maybe they're, they're, um, maybe the restaurants will go towards, you know, cardboard takeout instead of plastic, the foam takeout. It's already happening. Good. And so my entry was the sticker. I would write personal letters, deliver the letters to the owners, proprietors, or whomever. And um, they've been extremely receptive. Um, I award them with the big sticker if they change their ways, i.e., if they no longer. Uh, serve things in styrofoam and they welcome it. You'll start seeing them on, on in the windows of many of Love these. That. Yes. And so um, it's it's very gratifying. It's it's a very easy thing to do. So you it's, you and I have been emailing and you had said to me, oh, my gosh, I just came out of a meeting. I am more determined than ever. Would you like to share, uh, not in great detail, but what it was that just really got your heart pumping that you were like, oh my gosh, we have to do something? Well, I, th I think it was going to a lecture that Sue Flack, who is the Indian River Education and Marketing uh, Coordinator, um, you know, she gave statistics that were mind boggling. Uh, we, we, we consume something like 400 million tons, Ooh. tons, of plastic, and 50% of that, if I have my numbers right, is single-use plastic. Wow. How can we go on? I mean, it just, it's its its illogical. You can't do that. It's its wrong. So people that are listening to you, they're going, wow, Joanne, that sounds, sounds great, but I, there's just no way that I can do without my you know, plastic fill bottle or my, you know, whatever, it, whatever it is or plastic. But but like we started the show with, let's say they all pick one thing that they can make a change. One thing, maybe it's the water bottles. Maybe they're drinking, you know, single, single water bottles. You know, they're awfully convenient. They are. Maybe they change that. Well, that's the big one. That's yeah. the big one. Um, Yes, I was on an island. I'm an island person this summer and they allow zero plastic bottles on the island. They only sell water in cartons or wow. in aluminum containers, um, bottles mm -hmm. which have screw tops in aluminum, um, totally recyclable. Wow, they, I love that. I mean, islands really get it because yeah. they have they have such a small area of land yeah. here on our island. It's shipped off. And yeah. so then you forget, you know, sure. what you're accumulating. So um, I think that's a really good place to start. So, OK, so that leads me to how can how can we help? How can how what are you doing to help? I know you're kind of positive reinforcement to the businesses. Talk about that. Well, I've become I've become a source, you know, so one of the major clubs here on the island after a couple of years of promoting the idea have contacted me and they want to go in all cardboard containers. Love it. Imagine. Wow. They, they are probably one of the biggest consumers of plastic bottles. And if they do that, I can't mention the name because it's all, sure. all happening as we speak. Um, that, you know, their influence on this island will be great. Will be huge, and, yeah. And the ripple effect in the whole uh, county and in the state and therefore the world 
um, could be pretty marvelous. You know, I've gone to some hotels now where uh, out of the state where their complimentary water is in one of the little mm -hmm. cardboard boxes, you know, kind of like what kids would get their Absolute. milk in type of thing. Absolutely. Um, which I was so impressed with. So I don't know what our hotels are doing on the ocean, but, um, and you're probably visiting them, but well, that would be this amazing. Is, this is just the beginning, yeah. you know, and so... All of us have such enormous power to change what's going on here. I mean, if we resist uh, buying the plastic bottles, guess what? There'll be no demand. Right. And guess what? The right. pricing for uh, cardboard containers will go down and we'll be able to, you know, use them just and, and they are totally biodegradable. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. So. What steps, Joanne, are you taking? Obviously, you're, 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 you know, feet to the pavement. You're visiting these people. What, what steps are you taking to make that change on our island? Well, Sue Flack had a really good theory, and she, she has five R's. And one of them is to rethink uh, what you buy and what you use. That's the first one. Refuse with a nice no thank you, uh, the plastic bags and containers, and um, ask kindly for a piece of aluminum foil, totally recyclable. Reuse your plastic as much as possible. No more single-use plastic. Uh, bring your own shopping bags. Don't accept any other containers. Recycle as much as possible, and, re and therefore, thereby you're reducing our footprint on the world. Oh, that is brilliant. Uh, rethink, refuse, yep. reuse, <laughs> recycle, yep. and then reduce, Yeah, which is the ultimate goal. Right. Oh, exactly. I love that. That is oh, brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's not mine. That's Sue's. And I listened to her and um, my board listened to her and they said, oh my gosh, you've got to take this on the air. So well, we're going to have to go to a break, but in mm -hmm. the, your last minute before we go to break, what are your future dreams and aspirations? for this situation for our island, Joanne. What, what are your future dreams there? I think you anticipated the first one. Replace plastic bottles. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh, refuse to go boxes, styrofoam, plastic, whatever. Use your own shopping bag. Always have one with you. Never accept an alternative. Um, help me by helping yourselves. I love that. I love that. So I'm going to, before we go to break, I, I heard something you said about your own art. You said you describe your art as meatloaf. Oh, a little of everything in your art, yeah. playful, contemporary. And I feel like that's what you're doing right now. It's like the meatloaf of situations of how do we solve this? Oh a little my. bit of everything. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yes. 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 Wow. So if we all pitch into the meatloaf, we can, we can all have a great, great dinner. We can have a great Great dinner. Yes. Well, here's to you. Here's Cindy. to you. Right. Hey, we're going to have some meat life. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> If you operate a small business, you need services like payroll, tax compliance, HR tools, and other resources. You need Complete Employee Solutions. Bureau Beach has a team of professionals, including Anthony Sammons, Matt McCain, and Jennifer Comer, who saw the need for competent payroll, HR, and employee leasing services. Call Complete Employee Solutions at 772-978-7277 or visit their website at CompleteEmployeeSolutions.com. Hi, I'm Eric Flowers, your Indian River County Sheriff, and we are hiring immediately. Get involved in an exciting career and help your community thrive. Featured on Reels Channel's show, On Patrol Live, the Indian River County Sheriff's Office is committed to keeping our neighborhoods safe. Open positions in law enforcement, dispatch, and corrections include benefits. Visit ircsheriff.org for more information. Get your new career started today. 
At Sunshine Furniture, our 35,000 square foot showroom is filled with the largest selection of in-stock coastal furniture on the Treasure Coast. Dining and bedroom sets, occasional tables, sofas, sleeper sofas, love seats and chairs, in all the latest styles and colors from Tommy Bahama, Lexington, Hooker, Riverside, Universal, Four Seasons, Braxton Color, and Capri. We're the outdoor furniture experts and have hundreds of styles of any patio furniture you need, including a gallery of Berlin Gardens and Bollywood. We specialize in fire pits, outdoor rugs, umbrellas, and replacement cushions. Sunshine Furniture, 1295 US 1 in the Publix Plaza Vero Beach. Family owned and operated since 1991. Don't forget to visit our outlet store directly across the street filled with lots of name brand closeouts and sale items. Visit our website at sunshinefurniturecasual.com. Sunshine Furniture, the best in Cindy gets. She totally gets it. Oh my gosh. Did you see my prom makeup? She so gets it. Dude, did you see her before and after makeup on Instagram? That makeup girl gets it. My wedding makeup was so amazing and my makeup artist, she totally gets it. My senior photo makeup rocked. She gets it. You should see her new Facebook profile. Her makeup artist really gets her. My eye makeup is so on fleek. Thanks, Cindy Getz. Cindy Getz Makeup Artist, 772-633-4030. She gets it! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Beauty and the Beach Radio. I'm Cindy Getz, your host, and we're talking about plastic problems and solutions. Hopefully you've been inspired to make a change. Um, and speaking of uh, being inspired, we want to thank Dale Sorensen Real Estate for always making sure that we are on the air, that we are helping to inspire uh, local people to make a change for this beautiful uh, island. Um, so Dale Sorensen Real Estate, thank you so much. They've been family owned since 1978. You can find them at 772-231-4712. You can also find them at sorensenrealestate.com. Um, the next uh, person that we want to thank is Varietals and More, Rob and Michelle at Varietals and More right there on Royal Palm Point. They always make sure our guests have lovely beverage and I cannot wait to tell you why this beverage. It's always delicious, Rob. It's always fantastic. But I really feel like he, he knocked it out of the park. And um, I, I'm going to have to read the label because it's so special for our guest. So hold on. So my, my phone is acting kind of wonky here. Okay. So first of all, it is from South Africa. It is a cab. They know I love a cab. Okay. And it's called Protea. Okay. Do you see how beautiful the bottle is? Okay. It's, it's a cab. It's called Protea. Now what they've done is they've made it recyclable. The The label on the front, you can peel it off and then you can use it as a vase uh, to hold lovely paint brushes. Okay, isn't it gorgeous? Can it's you? Beautiful. It's got flowers all over it. So it is made and designed so that you will recycle this and use it over and over. And uh, so each time they try to pick a wine, Joanne, that is appropriate for the guest, so I think they did a pretty good job. I think they did a great job. Yes, yes. <laughs> Protea from South Africa, a cab, and it's delicious. It's delicious. So thank you, Rob and Michelle uh, Varitals. Go get yourself some today, Protea. And you guys, we're wrapping it up. We're talking about plastic, the problems and solutions. I'm here with our guest, um, Joanne Mettler, a local artist in town who's now turned advocate for our island to make sure it stays pretty. Uh, you know, you were talking earlier, you love to walk the beach. I love to, to run the beach. I, I, I also adore it and it just gives me such peace and joy um so what do you want to say to everybody out there as far as making a difference and jumping on your your uh, bandwagon for for saving our our island well um it's the most beautiful place i've ever lived um i think people appreciate that but um in order to keep it beautiful we have to work together and make a difference and i think by doing that it's quite simple um, raise others' awareness, do what you're doing, uh, learn more about what you can do, and we're helping each other. Um, that's my dream. And you know, you and Cindy at the soundboard were talking earlier, you can actually take a tour uh, over at the, um, I want to say the, what do you call it? Landfill. Landfill. The landfill. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think that would be definitely eye-opening. And oh. I think if anybody's interested, that could be something um, to kind of get them passionate about doing what you're doing. Well, I, it's easy to do. She's available to do that. She'll organize trips. 
I'm doing it myself on the 19th with my board, Wonderful. my little board. And the other thing I didn't mention is I, I'm doing this totally gratis. Wow. This is not a, this is not a, a, a money-making deal at all. This is just because I care enough. Yeah. And I really, really want this to happen. Yeah. So help me. I, hey, we just told 10,000 people about it. So, wow. yes, wow. how about that? How That's about that? fantastic. So, Thank Joanne, you. I'm so impressed. And, and you're changing, you know, beauty from canvas to our, our island. And you're making sure that it stays beautiful for generations to come. And I appreciate that because we all love living here. So thank you so much. Thank you, too, Sandy. Rethink, refuse, reuse, recycle, and reduce. You guys. Guys, go get that water bottle, that one water bottle. Save the earth. Love you guys. <laughs>